guys and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while, but look, it's only been three months since I posted this time, which to me is pretty good. I'm trying to be more consistent on here, even if that just means posting like little random videos, which is basically what this one is about to be. I think for this video, I mainly just want to talk because why not? I want you guys to get to know me like separate from the TikTok stuff. In my previous video, there were two outstanding points that I made. The first one being that I want to open up to you guys a lot more. And the second one being the fact that I want there to be a contrast between the YouTube account and the TikTok account. So today, I've decided to formally introduce myself to you guys. Hi, my name is Mina Robin. I am 19 years old and I am the creator of the Diamond Blue TikTok account. There isn't really much to get to know about me, so let's move on. You guys do ask me a lot of questions like, where do I get my doll things? Can we get a room tour? Yada, 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 this, that, and the third. I know I don't answer them, but that's mainly because literally in my bio, I have a list. It's a Google Doc linked in my bio with a list of everything that I get. And the list does get updated, just not very often because it may seem like I have more and more things, but that's not because I'm necessarily buying the things. But nonetheless, the list is there. I've also realized is that if I don't say that the list is there, then some people just won't look for the stuff. So I think I'm just going to answer the more popular question. Those questions are where I get my clothes and shoes, the type of doll I am, or the type of dolls I use, and the miniature kitchen items, or just the miniature items in general. Also, where I do most of my miniature shopping. The two main places I shop for things when it comes to online is Amazon and Etsy. Amazon has more of the generic items, like the mini brands, the generic Barbie clothes, and stuff like that. Whereas Etsy has the more specific or niche items, like a miniature Dior saddlebag, for example. I am a BMR 1959 curvy made to move Barbie. Being that I am a curvy Barbie, it does indeed come with a lot of hardships. And the biggest being that regular Barbie shoes don't fit your feet and pants aren't really a huge option for you. I just think Barbie shoes not being universal is like the dumbest thing ever, but that's not the point I'm trying to make here. Because there aren't a lot of clothes options that cater to curvy Barbies, I look towards Etsy. Etsy will get you right, but it is a pretty penny, or it can be sometimes. This is one of my favorite pairs of jeans that I've bought on Etsy. It's stretchy, it fits perfectly, and it's the perfect length. Like it doesn't even ride up on the ankles. This is what they look like on. This is what they look like at the ankles. Yes, I'm standing on the bed. Mind your business. But yeah, this is from the back and they just be hugging in all the right places. The link to those are in the Google Doc in my bio. Now onto finding miniatures on Amazon. All you really need to do when it comes to Amazon is type in miniature, insert, whatever you want that miniature to be. Here's one of my more recent miniature Amazon purchases. To find this specific item, um, you just search up like miniature bottles or miniature drinks and those come abundant on Amazon. And they sell them by the tens. So you'll get packs of like 40 drinks, 30 drinks, and they're usually like mixed and some of them are like random, all that kind of stuff. This specific one came with a smaller version of itself, two shot glasses, a laptop, a phone, a tablet, and headphones. These are the headphones that they came with, and clearly they're too small to fit on a Barbie's head. I don't work with 112 scale miniatures, so these headphones are just considered obsolete to me. Now, spinning back to finding clothes for Kirby Barbies on Amazon, Invest in those like off-brand uh, 
like lot packs because those actually work specifically the ken ones the barbie ones i don't know about all that but some pants that are meant for ken dolls actually fit curvy barbies i'm just gonna pull out my favorite pair that i have i'm sure you guys have seen me in these pants on multiple occasions they came in an off-brand pack of ken clothes they're like my favorite clothing piece that i probably own they come down pretty good on the ankles and this is me with my knee bent they fit like the perfect pair of straight leg jeans and for a pair of knockoff pants they have a really nice denim feel this is how they look from the back my favorite thing is that they velcro all the way like there's no stretching or anything and because they're white pants if i wanted to i could just dye them a different color but of course I won't do that because I don't want to sacrifice a pair of good white pants. It's kind of funny because this conversation went from where do you get your Barbie things to what things are good for curvy Barbies. But I don't really care because I'm all for curvy Barbie supremacy and Barbie needs to put out more clothes for curvy Barbies that aren't just dresses and oversized t-shirts. A multi-million dollar business and you can't even give me a good pair of jeans pants? pretty whack if you ask me. Anyways, how are you guys feeling about my new background? I think I'm pretty much in love with it. This is probably how I'm going to shoot YouTube videos from now on. I've got a couple of my favorite artists in my background. I'm sitting on my comfy bed. I'm just sitting here chatting to my followers in the comfort of my own room. Anyways, if you've made it this far, mm, comment the word saddlebag so I know you're still here. You know what? While we're still talking about the inclusivity of the curvy Barbie, the one issue that will irritate me to the ends of the earth is the fact that our shoes aren't universal. I hate the fact that my feet have to be smaller in order to fit all the cute and pretty shoes. Let me show you something real quick because I'm getting angry. On the floor in front of me, I have three different pairs of heels these weird blue booties, these purple slip-ons, and these regular pink high heels. These blue boots are specifically made for curvy and tall Barbies because they have big feet. As you can see, I have them on my feet and they fit me perfectly, but I hate them because they look like if Tim's were heels and they're an ugly shade of blue. Now, moving on to the really cute pair of heels that I would love to wear are these small purple slip-on ones. But clearly, I can't slip them on because my feet are so gigantic. Oh, these are Barbie shoes meant for original Barbie feet. But I realized if I just shove my foot far enough in it, they become universal shoes, as long as you're looking at them from the front. And it also applies to the sneakers because these yellow ones do not fit my feet at all. I don't even try pushing them in, but these green ones fit my feet perfectly. And again, they fit as long as you're looking at them from the front. It's probably about that time that I wrapped up the video. So thank you for listening to me rant about random stuff. Comment down below and tell me what you guys would like to see on this YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And thank you for watching and see you next time.